I'm Tom Hanks. I'm an actor, and I'm playing Falstaff in the Shakespeare Sin of Los Angeles production of Henry IV on this very stage that has, in fact, been built by veterans. Rondi Reed, I play Mistress Quickly, who runs the tavern in the play Henry IV. They informed us that we were going to be on the grounds of this beautiful VA facility in West LA. The idea that the veterans in transition were going to be our running crew, and they actually built the sets, and they literally carved a theater out of the woods, out of nothing. Guys and women who uh, you know have served our country and now are transitioning into whatever that next phase of their lives are. Wouldn't it be great if some of them went into this very line of work, the same one I'm in? So my name's DJ. Um, I served in the U.S. Army. I deployed to Iraq for about a year. I was in the United States Navy. I did go to Guantanamo Bay. I was a security guard there. I, mean, I was in the United States Marine Corps from 1981 to 1985 on the Marine Corps silent drill team. We traveled all around the world. I learned about the West LA VA through another veteran who was homeless and I was struggling with a drug addiction at the time. Pretty much got wrapped up into the LA lifestyle, so the transition from military to civilian was kind of rough for me. I was really down, really depressed, and I had suicidal thoughts. You know, the civilian life has really, has really kicked me pretty hard. Um, I suffer from PTSD. And at one point I was homeless. I was, I was like in a little cocoon. I was kind of closed off to the world. Shakespeare Art Center was probably the best um, decision I've made within the last couple of years. Now I get this opportunity and I thought, wow, this is great. So I jumped on the chance to do it. I am here for mental health reasons. So um, it, it calms me. The Los Angeles County Department of Mental Health is sponsoring a big piece of the Veterans in Art program, and they are um, underwriting this special class that we're going to be giving veterans. Came out of all of the conversations was that the veterans really felt that what they wanted most of all was a job. A job that had meaning, a job that was associated with a mission, a job that would help them have a sense of identity and a sense of purpose. I mean, you tell you tell a veteran, you tell any military member, "Hey, I need this hill. To, you know, I need this hill attacked, and and that hill is going to be that hill is going to be taken." Yes, I work as a stagehand, and pretty much what we do is we get the props ready, we uh, organize the swords, uh, everything that's going to be used during the plays. I've done some building, I've done carpentry work, I've done some lighting, I've done irrigation. They learn how to set up staging. They learn how to do sound. They learn how to work on costumes. They learn how to work on makeup. This program has helped me a lot. Like today I'm working on sewing because I can calm my mind. This experience has helped me to interact with people in a, in a positive way. It's been very therapeutic for me. By working outdoors, I, I felt a, a sense of a closeness with God. All of us have broken a sweat. All of us have put in an honest day's work and gotten an honest day's pay. There needs to be some kind of place where a veteran who has gone through that kind of experience can come back home and have a chance to transition. The overwhelming lesson for me, the thing that I would want to shout from the rooftops is do not ever underestimate a veteran, ever. It's one of the finest theaters I've ever worked in, built by these veterans at this facility. And to our surprise, Tom Hanks, he introduced himself to us and he shook all of our hands and so we were very happy about that, you know what I mean? And uh, we're still talking about it today. I just love being able to, to answer any question they have, take any picture with them, and help them move on to perhaps doing this very thing for a living. If you haven't gotten a ticket yet, get one soon. For those of you who already have tickets, you're going to see a really, really great show. You're going to see Shakespeare as it should be done. You're also going to see it in one of the most beautiful theaters that I've ever worked in. And the cool thing about all of it is, is that you are, by buying your tickets and by coming to the show, you are supporting the veterans who have worked so hard to create this theater here.
Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm a United States Army veteran. I'm a United States Navy veteran. Welcome to Henry IV, and thank you guys again for supporting the Veterans in Art program. And thank you for supporting veterans in the arts program. Great thank you from all of us to all of the veterans who have helped make this possible. Trees have been moved, the earth has been altered, the stage has been assembled, the theater is actually here all because of you. Thanks so much for the, investing the time with us in order to make all this possible. Enjoy the show.